Some basic functions of the ASU FTM 400. We'll first start with programming repeaters in manually using the touch screen head unit of the radio itself. Begin by touching, put press, short pressing the function button, which is the F button right here. If you then press the manual entry box, it's as the grid. Enter the frequency that you want to change. If the repeater is on, as you'll see right now, it's on that frequency. The radio, it completely factory settings, shows the negative icon in the top left corner, which means there is an automatic repeater shift is still turned on and it's showing a negative offset for this particular repeater frequency. After you enter the frequency, press the function button to get back out of the screen. Press and hold the display setup button, long press. In the setup menu, there are multiple options. Press the sig tap the signaling. You can see the tone squelch is set to 100 hertz, which is what this repeater is. If you need to change that, simply tap the number. It'll show the frequency that the tone squelch is. You can change that by turning the top right dial of the faceplate. Once it's orange. Tap it again, it'll go back to green. Press the back button. You then go into the configure setting menu. You can see right here on menu 4 in configure, it shows an automatic repeater shift is turned on. and the repeater shift is negative, you can always go in and change it here. Automat the repeater shift frequency is 5 megahertz, which is standard for the 70 centimeter band. Press back, back again. Now you will short press the function button. Press the forward or back. You will go through, you'll see the icon that says squelch. Right now it's noise. Tap once the, with the ASU FTM 400. T-TX is a transmit tone only. T-TRX is transmit and receive tone particular repeater. It is a transmit tone. Now press the function button to get out of the screen. That, that repeater frequency is now programmed into the radio. It is not saved into the memory of the radio currently. To save it into the memory long press the function memory write button. You can see that it brings up the memory channel list. It auto, auto default will go to the next available channel. You can change it to whichever channel you would like. Once you have it there, if you long press on the dashes it will allow you to enter a name for that repeater. For this repeater it is the call sign W0UPS. It's a horse tooth repeater so on Horse Tooth Mountain, located near Fort Collins, Colorado. Press the 
press enter, it will bring you back to this screen. Then simply tap anywhere in the orange. Over, uh, ask me to overwrite because factory there is a frequency programmed into one for some reason. Press OK. Now that repeater is saved into memory. You can do that multiple times. Once you do the first few it is fairly quick and easy. A lot of people prefer using software such as RT systems to program multiple repeaters into their radio at once without the headache of going through individually. I tend to program in multiple repeaters that I use frequently. I also have some sections of the frequency of the channels that I leave blank to where when I'm going on a trip or on vacation. I have an area I can save repeaters for that area into the memory while I'm there and then when I get home and I can I always overwrite them later if I go to a different area or if it's an area that I believe think I'll be back to soon I will leave them there or move them to a different area of memory. One thing to remember with the FTM 400 you have 500 memory channels per VFO. You have 500 for the top VFO VFO A and 500 for VFO B. They do not sync together so if you pro if you save a memory on VFO A it will not show up on VFO B unless you also go through and enter it and save it there.